before I start this video if you aren't subscribed please make sure you guys do and we're aiming for 500 likes in this video let's see if we can go ahead and hit that we still have a little ways to go for 2k18 but I mean we could make our predictions on what we think everybody's gonna be rated I done this before but it was with rookies if you guys want to see that video the links in the description yesterday was a big day for NBA fans and all the young talent that's supposed to be taking over the league in a few years. I feel like the easiest way to rate players is to go by people dominating now. LeBron was a 97 overall, but I think his overall should go up. Last season was one of his best seasons he's ever had, so I think he should be a 99 or a 98. I like PG. I think that PG will continue to advance his career, especially if he goes to the Lakers. So I think that PG will go from a 91 to a 90. As of right now, I feel as if that playoff collapse might hurt him a little bit. Speaking of the Lakers, they just traded one of my favorite rookies from before, D'Angelo Russell. I think that he will go from a 79 to an 82. Now, I think he will have a huge improvement because he's going to Brooklyn where nobody's going to be watching him and he has his own team now. So, I mean, he doesn't have to worry about sharing the rock with anybody. He can advance into the player that he needs to be. And I heard that the coach that they have is very good at developing players. So who knows, maybe this would be a good move for D'Angelo. I hope so because I actually like D'Angelo and I hope to see him in the All-Star game very soon. Role players are very hard to predict. That's why I'm just gonna stick with the star players for now. And I'm gonna go with these group of people right here. Kawhi, Russell, Harden, Curry, and Durant. That finals performance Durant had, I need him to get that 98 overall. Durant was going crazy. If LeBron gets a 99, I need Durant to be a 98. If LeBron stays at 97, then everybody has to move back down. But I definitely feel like KD should be just a little bit better than LeBron. Yes, I know that the Warriors helped Kevin Durant to look like a better player, but who cares? Why are we talking about scenarios? We're talking about the place that they are in the situation they are and Kevin Durant thrives in Golden State and I feel like his overall should go up a lot. He put the league on notice in the finals. The defensive player of the year candidates, Whiteside, Gobert, Draymond. I feel like Draymond should go up to a 91. I feel like Whiteside should maybe stay the same and Gobert should go up. I know you guys hate Draymond, but that does not take away from the fact that my man is a superstar and that's just facts. Whiteside, I feel like not enough people respect him for 2K to give him a higher rating. Do I feel like he is an 84? No, but I'm trying to keep it as least biased as possible and just do what I think that 2K will do. With the Warriors in the West, I don't know how dangerous this team can actually be, but definitely this team could be pretty dangerous. Now I give Jimmy G a 93, Cat a 91, and Wiggins an 89. Now here's why I give Wiggins an 89. For those of you that don't agree with me there, I feel like with Jimmy on the team, he's gonna take a step back. And with Jimmy on the team for Cat, I feel like that will help him out. But I don't wanna get too much ahead of myself. I mean, if we look at the Pelicans, everybody thought that was gonna click instantly. These teams take time, and maybe this one might be one of those that takes time where these people's overalls will might all go down. Who knows but that is my prediction there this is the last one I did and although I do not feel as if the Celtics should keep Isaiah I definitely feel as if he deserves to have at least a 92 Isaiah had a great season and he's definitely a great player now I am just not a firm believer in five nine players getting 205 million dollar extensions on five years especially at Isaiah's age right now but Celtics fans do you I'm not trying to anger you guys anymore now, for those of you guys who are still here, I did do a video with my man's T-Clip. Here's a preview of it if you guys want to see it. Oh, hit a triple-double in the garden. I love my left wrist like I'm on it. Go and shut up. Shut up. Oh, man. Oh. If you guys want to see that full video, the link will be in the description. Make sure you guys go and show my man T-Clip some love. If you guys have not subscribed to his channel, please subscribe and also comment that Prince Prodigy sent you guys. We have to encourage him to upload more videos, guys. That's what you guys want to see. Everybody go over there and spam his comment section. Prodigy Gang, L-Clip, you guys know what it is, man. I said when I make it out of Kentucky, I'ma be popping and I'ma get money. I'm over these niggas like I'm niggas bunky. I didn't get lucky, bitch, I had to hustle. So my family go through that struggle. They didn't do that shit for nothing. If I fuck with a bitch, I would be cheating because I'm in a relationship with this